Hi there, and welcome back to The Court Report. I'm Keith Schweigert, joined as always by LNP sports writer John Walk, and we're talking Lancaster Lebanon League boys basketball. John, we're heading into the stretch run of the league season. We have uh, five league games left to play, so from here on out, pretty much every game is big for those teams that are, that are still in contention. Uh, bring us up to date on where we're at in each section rates, uh, race and give us some of the, the big results that stood out to you last week. Yeah, uh, I'll probably get to the, the big section matchups uh, coming up here in uh, just a bit, but I wanted to start off giving some love to some of the teams that are kind of flying under the radar a little bit sure. uh, that we haven't talked about much at all, if at all, this year. Uh, one is Columbia. They're 6-10 and 10 overall this season. Uh, but last week they had a really good showing. They lost by just six points, um, seven points to a very good Mannheim Central team and lost by just six points uh, to a one-loss Lampeter Strasburg team. And then on Friday, a cool story, they beat Northern Lebanon by just four points um, and they got uh, Jaden Neal coming off the bench, scored a season high 16 for the Tide. Hmm. Uh, so that was interesting to see for them. Solanco, eight and nine overall, uh, but six of those nine losses have come by 10 points or less, including two in overtime. And the Mules finally got over the hump last week uh, by pulling the upset against McCaskey on Friday. Uh, so that was a big win for them. Yeah, obviously, and that one has implications on the on the Section One race because now McCaskey uh, drops out of a first place tie. Correct? Yeah, they uh, yeah they're out of first place tie. Cedar Crest is now a game up on them, and McCaskey travels to Cedar Crest on Tuesday night, so that'll be a big game in Cedar Crest. Well, McCaskey hasn't played a full, complete game since blowing out Cedar Crest back in December. And since then, I think I have Cedar Crest that having won nine in a row, um, uh, the la their last nine games anyway, and they're mm -hmm. clicking on all cylinders right now. So that'll be a big game. Another uh, two other big games Tuesday night, the top two teams from sections four and sections two meet. Um, section two, Conestoga Valley at Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon is only a game up on CV, so that'll be an interesting one there. Uh, Lebanon's coming off a brutal schedule last week. They played the top three teams from Section 1. They beat Hemfield, then lost to McCaskey and Cedar Crest. And uh, Conestoga Valley, since losing to Lebanon back on December 18th, CV has won nine of its last ten games, so they're playing really well. Um, and then down in Section 4, Lancaster Catholic and Lancaster Mennonite, the top two teams there. Lancaster Mennonite won the first game by three points, uh, but last week Mennonite played the top three teams uh, from Section 3 and lost all three, mm -hmm. um, whereas Lancaster Catholic, they're up two games on Mennonite, so that'll be a, a tough one there. And then fr finally on Friday, uh, the top two teams from Section 3 meet, Elko at Lampeter Strasburg. Now, if you remember, LS back in December went to Elko, went up by 20 points early and never looked back and they blew him out. I think it'll be a lot closer this one um, and apparently both uh, student sections have been trading some barbs on Twitter so expect this, uh, this one to be packed on Friday and it should be a good game. Yeah, it sounds like we have some uh, big showdowns coming this week, John. So uh, uh, thank you uh, for, for coming in, thank you for joining us and, and thank you guys for tuning in as always. Uh, remember to follow John and the rest of the LMP sports staff on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.